then a lady from New York, Ms. Slaughter, and a member opposed. We each will control five minutes. The chair recognizes the gentlelady from New York. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I rise today to offer an amendment with my distinguished colleague from Michigan, Mr. Dingell, which would remove a controversial measure that has been inserted into the underlying Coast Guard reauthorization. The measure forces states to adopt a weak international balance of water standard as a ceiling for regulatory efforts. In doing so, it preempts the right of states to respond to emerging invasive species and provides no incentive for future innovation in critical ballast water technology. Each minute, 40,000 gallons of ballast water containing thousands and millions of foreign bacteria, viruses, animals, and plants are discharged into the U.S. waters. That's 21 billion gallons of ballast water annually. Once introduced, invasive species such as the Asian carp are exceedingly difficult to control and often impossible to eradicate. Having no natural predators, aquatic invasive species easily feed on the native fish and other aquatic wildlife. They foul beaches, degrade fisheries, clog, clog water intake pipes and other infrastructure. They disrupt the food chains and contaminate our drinking water. And we spend more than a billion dollars a year simply trying to get rid of zebra mussels, which to date we have spent five billion trying to eradicate and have not even come close. Ballast water is a serious matter with far-reaching implications for this nation. We lose billions of taxpayer dollars every year to combat and contain invasive species brought into our water by foreign shipping vessels. Many, and all, most all around the Great Lakes of our nation's communities relies on, on these bodies of water uh, for recreation, to drink, as well as their livelihood. The Great Lakes, which face significant challenges from invasive species, contain 20% of the fresh water on the planet. And I think those of us on both sides of the aisle who live adjacent to those lakes have always felt an obligation to be, can try to protect that. And we must also remember that those are international waters and that our Canadian friends also have a say here. Unfortunately, the ballast water provisions in this measure protect the foreign shipping magnets rather than the Great Lakes and the people who live there. The Dingle Slaughter Amendment strikes Title VII from this measure, which will remove the damaging ballast water language. It will allow us to pass the important Coast Guard reauthorization while giving Congress an opportunity to come to a responsible and reasonable agreement with respect to ballast water standards. I urge my colleagues to support the Dingle Slaughter Amendment, and Mr. Chair, I reserve the balance of my time. General A. Reserve.